Hi guys, my name is Lady Lagos. Please like this video if you like this video and don't forget to subscribe if you haven't done so already. So today we have a really long video, so I'm just gonna get right into it. I um, have a lot of time on my hands recently and so I wanted to start a new hobby. So that's what this video is about and I hope that you like it. And as always, I do have my sharp cutty guys. The first item we have here is obviously a very large and thin item and for those of you who are wondering, this is a pajama set and I got it at Target. Anyway, I just kind of get right into this. So as some of you may or may not know, I recently moved. I used to live in the West Coast and I live in the East Coast. And one of the very first people that I met out here, her name is Dawn and she is absolutely awesome she actually gave me this as a going away present um, she no longer lives where I live and she moved to Florida so womp womp and I did change my last name so our last name starts with an S the only thing is I don't have anything to use to hang this with hence the big box so I'm just gonna tilt it and hopefully that will help and it's literally as easy as that. And that's it. And then you just stick this in. You just stick this bottom part in the ground. I actually got this at Hobby Lobby. I was already buying a bunch of things, so I figured I might as well place the online order. I use my Ebates, and then I can get all the little knickknacks. They didn't have any of these in store, so I had to buy it online. I figured if I'm gonna buy it online, I might as well get the free shipping. So. Let's keep going. Now this is the very heavy giant box that I got. On the other side there's my address. Now because I'm opening the box upside down, everything will be upside down in the box. The first thing that I got was this, it is called Tattered and Worn, and these are 180 loose sheets, and they are 12 by 12, and I'll just give you a quick. So you would use this as like the background accent paper for scrapbook. So this is originally $20, I got it on sale, so it was 50% off, and this is one one nine six zero two at Hobby Lobby. I will also leave the like number whatever at the bottom or in the description box in case this is something you're interested in. So that was the first thing that I ordered. And after I get the paper, I need an album. I decided to go with this one here. It looks like the world and the back side is the same thing so it just looks like the universe so then inside of the book here these individual paper sleeves so they open at the top and then you stick stuff inside so what i would do is i would stick those papers into this part of the book so this is a post bound album and you can add more of these type of um clear plastic sheets so all you would do is order them and then you order them and add them in i don't know how to exactly put them in but i'm i'm sure I'm, i can figure it out for those of you who are wondering about the album it is $20, but I got it on sale, so it was $10. This is the 12 by 12 postbound scrapbook album in the number 157552. Then I got the refillable pages, and this is also 12 by 12, and this is postbound or ring bound albums. So they do have the option, you can do either or. This is 101972 and this was $10, but I got it on sale, so it was about $5. The next thing I got is acid-free glue stick. Now that's not anything too exciting, but I wasn't exactly sure how to tape or um, adhere some of the objects that I wanted, whether it be pictures or some kind of 
a craft paper or whatever. So I did buy a glue gun and now I have this glue stick. So now I have two options to stick things onto other things. The other thing I got here were cardstock. And these are $6, but I got it on sale, so they were $3. It's just solid black. I figured you can't go wrong with solid black if you are going to um, just put them on the colored paper. 5.5 inches by 7.5 inches, and it's the 75 pack. So regular pictures are uh, four by six, I believe, and this is a little bit larger. And this is the number 730358 for those of you who are wondering. I also got these wooden stamps. Now these were not on sale, but you can get them on sale if you order it individually. If you have a Michaels readily available, I know that they do have the exact same stamps or you can try it again at Hobby Lobby. And these were $12.99. That is very expensive, but you are making the one-time purchase and investing in something you're gonna keep for a long time. Whether it be in your scrapbook or in your Erin Condren life planner, like how I have, I'll leave it in the i cards above if you don't know what I'm talking about. But um, so this is multi-purpose, very happy about that purchase. And of course are the ink pad mini pigments these come in a variety of colors and this is six zero five nine seven two so by stamps i need ink pads so these ones come in the color brown red pink um light pink orange green blue yellow purple bunch of the names on the back and The last of the actual items in the box are these things here. So this is a card letting me know that I should join the Hobby Lot credit card, which I'm not gonna do. Live a creative life. Thank you for shopping with us. And Zulema, Zulema is the one who packed my order. And that's kind of cool. I like how they tell me who was responsible. And then here's just like my invoice of everything and how much I paid. Now I do have some extra time, so I'm going to show you some of the other items that I bought at um, Michael's, Walmart, and um, like the dollar. What is this giant paper cutter? Um, this pink one is to score your paper, and then the white one is to actually cut the paper. This is one of the more affordable options. You can either buy this one by Recollections, which is the Michaels store brand. They do sell the refill blades, so once this blade gets dull, I can replace it, and it's super easy and simple. And the blades are like five or six dollars, and it comes with two. So that was the first thing here, and then it shows you kind of like the picture there. I figured I'd be doing a lot of paper cutting and I don't know about you, but my personal cutting skills seem to write home about, so I figured I'd get the paper trimmer and save myself a lot of time and hassle. The next thing that I bought is this case here where I actually have the rest of my items inside. So this is the Creative Options brand and this is 708 Album and Craft Tub. I like this one because I can actually fit the album in here and the extra paper and all of my supplies instead of some of the other options like iris or whatever. The other feature that I really liked is that it had these locking, I don't know, grips or whatever. So this is the only item that I actually got at um, Walmart. And these are craft, the crafters dot runners and these are refillable here. So this is what it would actually look like, pack of four. I liked it because it was purple. They had another one that was Elmer's and it was $2 and then the refills are $2 uh, and you only get one. This one was like $6 and it came, it came with four. I only wanted it because it was purple. So now I have three options for gluing things. The dot runner, the glue stick, and the glue gun. The only thing that I didn't purchase myself are these googly eyes and my cousin, uh, who actually lives around here, actually gave these to me. Um, she no longer needed them, didn't know what to do with them, and I love googly eyes. So thanks, Jenny. 
All right, so I got this at Michael's and it's just like a little bundle pack here. It comes with this foam brush, this foam sponge, triangle sponge. I think there's two of those. It comes with this um, flat bottom rounded um, pouncer brush and then like a handful of actual paint brushes so that I can use things like glue, glitter glue, or a paint of some sort so that I can decorate my scrapbook items or whatever. So because I bought the brushes, I bought some paint. I got this one in glow in the dark because who doesn't love things that glow in the dark? Because I got black cardstock, I got this white paint in cotton ball and it is multi-surface and it was like $2. The other item that I got is this color shift. I'm not sure who makes this, but it's called Blue Flash. This is what it's supposed to look like, okay? So you can see the sticker does it a lot better. But I've been deciding to craft with that. So anyway, the only thing that I got at Dollar Tree were gel pens because these are supposed to be able to write on the actual black cardstock or any cardstock for that matter. So it, it's just, it was a dollar. Then I got all of these stickers. Um, I was recently married, so I got this one, and it is just like a bunch of like engagement, wedding type stickers. And this is the number 1158161. Then I got some of these, and these are from different states that we have visited thanks to the military. So I'm gonna make little collages of those. And then penguins are my favorite animal. So I got this penguin sheet, and this is the number 1358134, and this was $2.99, but of course you can always use a coupon and buy it individually. Then I got a few sheets of paper, which is this one of the world, and this was before I actually got the album. And then I got this one that's a llama. I love this one. My husband is Peruvian, and they are known for llamas, so... That's what this one is about. And then I got this one because Halloween is coming and I love Halloween. So I'm gonna make a page dedicated to that. Hopefully take some pictures of us on Halloween and add it to this paper. And the last thing I got is this white cardstock paper here. And this is the Recollections brand, and this is the 8.5 by 11 inches, 50 sheets. Now, I wasn't sure how big I got the black card stuff, but this was $5 here, and I figured I can just cut this in half with my paper trimmer, and then I can use it for pictures, and it's white, so I can put any color or paint on here, and I can also use it as just like a firm surface for this page here. Minus that, it is just this bin where I keep all the things in. And the last items that I got are these glue sticks. And this is the uh, Elmer's brand, and there's 24 of them in here. And then I got this glue gun, and this was about $5, but you can use the coupon, like I said. And uh, this is the Art Mines, and I got it because it was purple. And last but not least, this giant of crazy scissors. So this is the Craft Smart 12 piece, and these are decorative scissors, so these are the different types of design cuts that they make, and this is what they actually look like. So I can cut the paper edges a bunch of fun ways, or the pictures, or whatever crafts I am making at the time, I can cut them in some fun design. So that is everything that I got for my new hobby. I dive right into all of my arts, crafts, hobbies, passions, and I hope that this has somehow inspired you to go out there and take advantage of all these sales. Um, Michael's has been having sales nonstop all week. You can either order online and use your Ebates account, to uh, save some money that way, or you can go in person and use the Michaels and or Hobby Lobby app, and it has the coupons in the app itself. That way you can save yourself some money that way. All right, well, thank you guys for watching, and I hope to see you guys on the next one. Bye.